This graph is a visualization of the content generated by GPT-3 AI in relation to the concept of polysingularity. It is made using Infranodus Text Network Analysis and Visualization App that takes all this content from the AI based on your search query, visualizes it as a graph where the main nodes uh, are the words that I use in the discourse, and the co-occurrence of the words uh, are the connections on the graph. And this representation helps us see what are the main terms, how they're related to one another, what are the main topics. We can also identify what are the gaps between them. So it gives us a total overview of the responses and an interactive graph that we can use to actually continue building this discourse further and generate the content that could be interesting for us. So for example, here, if I see something about multiple conditions and let's say, pendulum clocks, I can select those terms and go here and for instance also choose polysingularity and then I can use the AI that is built in to generate more facts that I could add into this graph. So it's like a process of constant interaction with this AI module that allows you to generate some interesting ideas for your content which you can then export, rewrite in your own way or just use for some interesting data. So here I added some ideas into the graph, the whole structure changes, and now I have new topics that come up that I can explore in this way and making connections between them. I'll show you how it works using a real example here that we will go through together at the same time. So I will add a new graph and then you choose explore a topic and let's start from the idea of superposition. So I add this inside, click explore, it adds the node on the graph and then it retrieves 10 facts generated by GPT-3 on the topic of superposition. Then it visualizes them as a graph. So I can see quickly that uh, this concept is related to the concepts of quantum state system. So I can even click those three nodes and generate some more content with the AI based on these topics to see what else is related to it, what it is actually a quantum state system. Okay, so I can add it into the graph make more connections between them, regenerate more ideas, some that I like, I can keep adding into the graph and continue developing this discourse in that way. What's also interesting is that once I develop some ideas that seem more or less clear to me, I can go to the periphery of the graph. So this is where it's also very useful to have this representation because if you want to develop some interesting content, you also want to go beyond what is normally written. So this is why it's always nice to use the graph to explore the periphery of your discourse. Here we can write something about space, wave, state, superposition, and generate some facts on these topics to link these two groups of concepts together. Generate more, add this. You see there is some more connections now. Another fact, add this into the graph and continue building this interconnected structure that is our text where we're exploring the concept of superposition using the AI to generate some interesting facts. We can also ask it to generate questions. So for example here we can go into the inside and identify the gap, the two different topics that could be connected in a better way that could be developed further and then we can generate a research question where the AI is asking us how we could develop this discourse further based on the connection between those two topics. So it asks a question of how does the fundamental concept of superposition in quantum mechanics determine the precise location of an object that appears to be impossible to determine. Beautiful. It's like philosophy. So we add this into the graph. Definitely want to keep this idea, even if it's a bit poetic, and continue exploring some wisdoms that are delivered by GPT-3 and add them into the graph so that I have a visual representation of what's going on and every time when I load this graph later even I can get into this discourse from a perspective that I find interesting so for example waves, quantum, superposition, state and then explore in which context those terms were used and then also once I'm finished making connections I can export all this text as a text file and rewrite it in a new way I can also add my own ideas here, so I can start writing on top and I can say that superposition is related to quantum states. And then I can add another idea, maybe wave is an important concept in quantum 
mechanics, it represents a changing state. Add this into the graph. So it's highlighted what I'm adding into the graph as I'm adding it. So I can see how it connects also other concepts. Now, when I have this representation, I can filter the ideas that I added and see what they are about. If I want to see the, uh, all the node labels, I can adjust them here. Okay, so I see that I added something about quantum states, representation, superposition, and waste. So there, I can start writing my own discourse on top of my nodes and generate content, but not in a way where the AI is generating it for me, but rather using the AI to generate my own ideas and make my own connections. So this is a really different approach to the systems that exist today that just write for you, and so the results are a bit generic. Here, you're actively weaving the structure of the discourse delivered to you by GPT-3 in order to find what it's missing, what are the gaps. We need to connect the waves and amplitudes to superposition of quantum. So maybe there is a next new discovery happening. Selecting those nodes, maybe going a little bit further, even choosing mechanic, facts, and then it generates some interesting new ideas that could connect them in an interesting way. So adding this into the graph, highlighting it, and so on. So it's kind of like an exploratory tool where you're interacting with the AI to generate some interesting ideas. Try it out on infranodus.com and let us know if you have any questions, feedback, or comments. Thank you.